Hi, I'm Bart Polson, and this video is a walkthrough of an exercise from Zed Shaw's book, Learn Python the Hard Way. If you go to his website, learnpythonthehardway.org, and click on Read the Free HTML Online, you'll get to the table of contents. In this video, we're going to be looking at exercise 34, which is called Accessing Elements of Lists. And if you go to this, really, this is a very simple exercise. We've looked at lists before. It's how to put a, a several pieces of data, numbers or words or strings, uh, in square brackets. And you we stepped through them previously using for loops and while loops. Now we're just going to learn how to reach a specific one. And really, all this involves is knowing how to count the way a computer counts. And the fundamental aspect of that, you'll see there's almost no text here to, uh, to look at. I'm just going to go straight to Text Wrangler. And here's how it works. First off, let's take this list that Zed created. He's calling it animals. So we've got this uh, object or variable called animals. And we are assigning to it, that's the assignment operator, a list. And now it's in square brackets. That's what makes it a list. And we're giving it the names of six animals. Each of them, because they're strings, they need to be in quotes. These ones are in single quotes and they're separated by commas. So there is the list. That's all there is to it. Now, if we wanted to see the whole list at once, all we would need to do is type animals. In fact, let me just do this. I'm going to come over here and I'm in Python. I'm just going to type Python and ex34.py. And oh, you know what? I've loaded it, but I haven't asked it to do anything yet. So let me do this next thing. I'm going to ask it to print animals. Then I'm going to ask it to print them one at a time. So this first one right here will print all the uh, names of the animals, and it will do it in one line, or really just kind of print the entire list in a line. And then this one, a for loop, will print them one at a time. Watch, watch how those both work. So I come over here. There we go. Here's the first one. It prints the list exactly as it appears. In here, it's in square brackets. It's got the single quotes. It's got the the commas. So that's exactly the way it looks. The next one, when we do the for loop, we say for i, and that's a that's just a variable we're using to keep track of each item as we go through. So, but it basically means for every item in animals in the list animals, print that item and do it once per line. And you see here, it put each one on a separate line. It removed the square brackets. It removed the single quotes. It removed the commas. And we've got the whole thing there. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. Okay, cool. That's easy. Now I'm just going to print a little bit of extra text. What you need to know is that the way we normally count is uh, when we're looking at items in a list like this is we use what are called ordinal numbers. Where we go, this is the first and second and third and fourth and fifth and sixth. Those are ordinal because they indicate the order in which they appear. On the other hand, uh, what Zed points out is that we need to be using cardinal numbers. And those are one, two, three, four, five. And in fact, what the major point of this uh, exercise is to say that in computers, you don't start with one, you start with zero. And so the way that these items would be numbered using cardinal numbers and starting at zero is bear would be zero, python would be one, peacock would be two, kangaroo would be three, whale would be four, and platypus would be five. So it's zero to five, and that gets all of our items. And it's a hard habit to get used to, but it makes so many operations on the computer so much easier by starting at zero. So I'm just going to run a little bit of text here, and we will, uh, let me clear this out. to hit Command K. I'll just run this again. So I've got my little commentary here. You just need to know that we're counting with cardinal numbers, and we start at zero. And then what you need to do is pretty simple. To access a specific item in a list, if you want to print just one thing, for instance, you, you put the list name, and then in a square bracket right next to it, you put the index number for that item. So for instance, let's say we wanted to do, um, well, actually, let me show you how this works. I've got a, a small for loop that I've created right here. And what I'm going to do is the same for i, for each item in range len animals. Okay, this requires a little bit of explanation. Animals is this list object, this variable up here that we created. So, and len means length. And what that means is, look, just go to that list, see how long it is, 
And however long that is, do it that many times. And this is a really nice function to have the lens thing because then you don't have to specify how long it is because if it changes, this will change automatically. And then by range, so you see there's six items in that list. I could have put range and then six. And that would have meant start for every item start at zero, one, two, three, four, five, because range by default starts at zero and goes up to one less than the number you've specified. By putting in len or length animals, it counts how many there are, it starts at zero and it goes up to one less. So this does exactly what I want. It goes zero through five. And it says for each one of those print, and then I have a bunch of text here, index something in the list, in the list is blank. And I'm telling it to fill in with the I number, so it'll go zero to five. And then take the item out of the animals list. You see how I got specified? I have the name of the list, and then here immediately in square brackets with no spaces, I have a number that's gonna be standing in for the name of the item in the list. So let's just watch how this works. I'm gonna come over here and I think I've saved that. I'm gonna do the up arrow to go to my last command. And there they are. These are the important ones. So like I said, bear is zero. The first one, it, that's its ordinal number, is has a, a cardinal number of zero. Peacock, Python is one, peacock and so on. Now, if you wanted to see just one thing at a time, you would do like this, print animals, and then let's put four. I'm gonna save that and run it again, and I believe that will show us also. There's number four. Now I see it's index number four, which is actually the fifth item in the line. This exercise is really about learning how to count computer, count in the computer way. And for us, that means starting at zero. Uh, give it a little practice and I'll see you at the next exercise.